Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 23rd, 2021. Well, my goodness, as Turkey Day approaches, it seems like we have a little bit of uncertainty that showed up in the market, and it would appear my warning of caution yesterday um, was um, justified. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we pushed up into new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ and then quickly reversed that as if there was a rejection of those highs. But let's take a look at the diamonds here first. As you can see in the Dow, we have kind of slid past and broken this upside trend and we have an official downtrend in play. And although yesterday we had a good start to the day, we didn't even break this downtrend to the upside. So as we push back in this chart, notice we came really, really close to testing some price support there in that chart. And if we pull this back a little bit further, what we wanna watch for is that possibility, that possibility if this level right here were to fail, that could be um, real problematic for the market. However, if we can find some support in there, if those bulls defend on that place, then we could certainly rally back toward this resistance level in the chart. You can see we've got a little price resistance right in there. And if we were to rally back in here and into that downtrend, that's where we would look for that next potential failure or that point where we maybe break out and hold above that downtrend. Or we could certainly slide into more of a consolidation. I gotta tell you, with the holiday coming, that's not all that odd of an idea either that we just kinda slip into a bit of a consolidation there to try and make that decision maybe next week whether we're gonna pop out or break down. So watch carefully in that chart. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY had a really good day, started out yesterday with a big pop. And if we take a look at trend off of here, well, we've kind of run into a little bit of a problem, but I think most people are going to be looking at this right in here as trend. And we left behind this ugly, ugly bearish engulfing candle we've got a little spinning top hanging man a little spinning top maybe a shooting star and then this big old bearish engulfing candle here we did push up we hit new record highs but I got to tell you, that looks an awful lot like a rejection candle, at least at the moment. Now, the question is going to be whether or not we follow through. Remember, a bearish engulfing candle, one candle does not make a trend. However, if we were to get a follow through candle today to the downside, that could be really concerning for the market. So it's really going to depend whether or not those bulls defend hard enough or if the bears fight hard enough themselves, how this might end up today. Because if we end up with a candle that's higher on the day, if we were to push up into here and no follow through to the downside, then um, this may have turned out to be just a one-off event and just market volatility. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if those bears are to come into play and if they are gonna fight, we wanna watch this little level right in here. That would be the next logical place where we could find a little bit of price support if they do push down and have enough teeth to get moving. One of the things I have been con con concerned about with the market is we don't have an awful lot of price support here in um, the SPY and the NASDAQ. And it's, it, well, what we show in the SPY is better than what we show in the NASDAQ. But if we were to fail through here, just kind of keep in mind how quickly we could potentially drop into this next level of price support. And that would be very painful if that were to occur. So keep a close eye on this price support here. A failure here would be a, a problem to, of significance. And then if we take a look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ left behind a really ugly bearish engulfing candle here. 
and as you can see we pushed down and we broke down through or we're breaking down through this little tiny level of price support and i say tiny level if this follows through to the downside to today today watch for a test of this price support in here over the next couple so watch for that carefully that could easily come into play in the market and i gotta tell you when you look at the way this pattern might develop can you guys see the possibility the beginning of that occurring um, in the market now that's really looking forward a long ways i can't say that that's going to be the case but if we do follow through and test this low, that, that's going to be raising some eyebrows here, maybe some, some concerns in the market. However, if those bulls push right on through and say, hey, we don't care about that bearish engulfing candle, we want to buy more tech, then uh, there may not be any issue here at all. And then take a look right in here. If this level um, were to break, and this is my concern in the NASDAQ, there really is no price support underneath this until we come all the way back down to here. And that would be one painful sell-off um, in the queues. And it can't be, you can't ignore that possibility considering the extension that we have um, here in the market. And look how far we are away from our 50-day moving average. So we have really stretched and extended this market pretty substantially. Let's take a look at the Russell. Now, IWM um, had a pretty good day going in the beginning. We were pushing back up. We were getting back above this support level but that reversal on the day turned us back around and we ended up with another bearish engulfing candle here following this downtrend uh, to the downside um, the good news is we held on to this trend at least at the moment we held on to this trend this morning we're looking just a little bit lower like we might gap below that trend right in there so the question is, will we find a little price support in this trend and off of this price and bounce back up into this area? But keep in mind, we now have the old double whammy going on here where we have a major price resistance level and a downtrend that we're going to have to compete with to break through to the upside. So watch that carefully. If that can't happen, then we could see that um, additional downside coming into play. And I gotta tell you, a, a failure at that resistance level, a, a, a resistance level that's about a year's worth of price action could be substantial. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. If you take a look at that VIX, that VIX rallied pretty strongly yesterday. Not to really suggest, oh, just a massive amount of fear coming into the market, but certainly raises the level of uncertainty. And if we take a look, there's that little higher low coming into play. We've broken this downtrend in the chart. We're holding some higher levels of support. And yesterday we broke a little bit of price resistance in this chart. Now, keep in mind, I don't think this gets bad until we get above that 20 handle and if i were to draw that out we have a very big level of price support and resistance right here in around 20 in that vix chart so if we were to break above here and then hold that for some as support that could be a real problem for us in the market but so far no worries there we could easily pop into this level find some resistance and pull back Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I get a lot of questions about this, but it really is a very, very simple indicator. It doesn't tell us which direction the market go is going to go, but it does tell us um, where these pressure points are in the ma market. And it's actually very, very accurate in helping us do that. So as you can see, we didn't quite make it down here to that bearish engulfing area. And we did lift a little bit yesterday. So if those bears were to find inspiration today and keying off of those um, bearish candle patterns of yesterday, we certainly have downside room that we could complete this move into that bullish reversal zone. So watch carefully for that potential. And if we can find that bullish reason 
to get inspired here. If those bulls step up and defend and really start to push back, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity in this um, indicator as well. So it all depends on where those pressure points come. Can we get that follow through today? Then let's take a look at our T2107. T2107 did perk up a little bit yesterday, but I got to tell you, that didn't improve enough yesterday to give me any warm and fuzzies. Um, as a matter of fact, we continue to have more stocks um, um, sliding below their 200-day moving average. Only 44% of the stocks holding above their 200-day. That puts an awful lot of weight. That's a lot of heavy heavy weight pulling down on those big techs trying to lift everything up so keep a close eye on that if that continues to the downside that could be a problem for the market and be just really dragging more and more weight to the bottom um, in the market so watch carefully and then t2108 same so story different verse here where we have more stocks falling below their 40-day uh, moving average. We saw a little teeny tiny improvement in that. We tried to catch a little bit of price support here in that chart. I think that's a good sign if that can continue to hold, but we still have this major problem here where we continue to set new record highs in the market with fewer and fewer stocks making it to the upside. So if this, if those big techs were to really start to sell off, watch out below. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 surged yesterday, and that's what we typically see surge to the upside when we see a selling wave come into the market. But it wasn't bad enough to break this um, um, wedging pattern that we have in here. So I don't think there was anything um, awful about that move yesterday. Just some caution, some uncertainty coming into play because we could certainly settle that right back down if those bulls um, defend pretty hard in here and we could just range, continue to range in this wedge. It'll be when we pop this out and hold. That's where we're, we'll see some trouble in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we got a couple things that we might want to be paying attention to today. If we take a look, we've got the PMI composite flash. That might be an interesting number today. Keep a close eye on that at 945. And it's only because I'm seeing bonds um, uh, moving up then it might be interesting to keep an eye on this seven year bond auction. If we start to see those shorter term bonds um, escalating to the upside, that could be a little bit of a problem uh, for us here. So watch carefully for on that bond auction. And then I gotta tell you guys, I don't know, I don't know what we have what to do um, when it comes to next. Um, the next day, Wednesday morning, as you plan forward, oh my gosh, we are going to get slammed with data here on Wednesday. Durable goods, GDP, international trade, jobless claims, new home sales, personal incomes and outlays, petroleum status, and then later on in the day, we're going to get the FOMC minutes. So we're going to get, um, you know, the whole kitchen sink so thrown at us um wednesday morning so make sure you're prepared for that and have a plan to protect yourself anything is possible and then um, also considering the fact that traders are probably going to be shutting down and heading out this could be a light volume day with really wild price swings in it so be very very careful let's take a look at uh, some stocks that could be setting up oh wait we better catch the earnings here really quick um, on the earnings calendar today we ended up with a little bit more on that earnings calendar than was originally signaled yesterday we've got 39 companies listed but it, uh, a pretty sizable number of those are um, unconfirmed reports um, there's a lot of retail in here today um, AEO you might want to keep an eye on those AEO, B-U-R-L. We've got Dell. We've got uh, DKS um, in there. We've got GPS in there. So quite a little bit of retail, including JWN. Um, so watch those closely. We've also got some defensive sector like um, SJM. Um, Schmuckers um, reporting today. We're gonna have. We're gonna hear from VMW. 
we're going to hear from um, MDT and we're going to hear from HPQ. So, whoops, HPQ. So keep a close eye on those charts. And if you want to catch that full notable list, make sure you click that link um, um, back to the morning blog and take a look at that for those notable um, reports. Then how about we take a look at those stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, just really quickly, guys, you know what to do. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment and it's continue to engage with other members on the channel and because it's the, the engagement that makes a difference and by the way guys we are ever so close to reaching twenty five thousand in the the channel thank you so much everyone i think we only have about 10 or 11 subscribers left and we're going to hit that so that means next week um I'll, we'll set something up and i'll do that giveaway and i will be giving away one of my personal carved um, wood items. So um, let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up for today. And keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you need to be doing your own due diligence, making sure that you understand the risks and paying attention to uh, the patterns of whether or not they fit your trading profile. Um, remember, Remember, if I'm in a trade, I may have a bias in the trade and you should never, ever, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at some of these here this morning. Um, as you guys remember, I was mentioning Plug yesterday and Plug took off early in the day and was looking really great. And then that selling took over and we bounced right back down here on the day. But we're still holding into this support area in the chart. So there is that possibility this could move on higher. Keep in mind, plug typically has quite a little bit of volatility in it. So you just never know for sure how that might respond. But watch that carefully if that decides to push on through to the upside. If you guys remember, I mentioned Ford yesterday and Ford, Ford found that that trend and decided to get a little bit perky here um, yesterday and pop through some resistance in the chart. Keep a close eye on this. I know a lot of folks from um, RWO are holding this trade and looking really good. So watch that in here. It may still have to rest a little bit after um, that big effort yesterday, but watch if we can get some bullishness in the market, this may stretch on through to the upside. Keep an eye on forward, looking pretty good. I would be a little bit remiss if I didn't mention um, General Motors as well. General Motors um, was in yesterday's um, report and that also got a little bit perky here, um, fired up a little bit, hasn't quite broken out, may have to rest just a little bit more into that trend. And then we might look for some upside in that chart. So keep a close eye on that. Now I gotta tell you yesterday, guys, there was a lot of charts that were just looking pretty good. Um, they happen to be a lot of big tech like AMD, but oh my goodness, yesterday that big ugly um, came into those charts. So watch these carefully. Some of these might be getting a little bit shaky um, in that price action. So be really, really careful with some attack today if that continues uh, to follow through to the downside. I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying that we do have to be a little bit careful and cautious about that possibility. You might want to take a look um, at um, some of the shippers. Take a look at UPS. UPS perked up just a little bit yesterday. Now, it may not be quite ready for prime time. Notice we have a little bit of a downtrend in here, but we are trying to find some price support in that chart. If we're gonna see a good holiday season, we would expect those shippers to do pretty well. So watch that. If they start to perk out and hold, there may be some opportunities there. And if we take a look at FedEx, FedEx would also be one of those. Had a nice little day yesterday finding some price 
price support in here trying to perk on up so watch that carefully if that gets a little bit if those bulls can get feisty enough to push this on through watch carefully for that um, I think um, we had a really bad day in the precious metals yesterday um, GLD I don't exactly know why um, this collapsed like it did but oh my goodness uh, major collapse here so GLD is back off of the list um, um, because we have lost um, this trend here and as you can see we lost this support level in the chart with that big sell-off yesterday pretty brutal and what was interesting is I saw um, um, some ugliness um, in a lot of metals yesterday however US Steel um, ultimately went through to the upside found a little upside in there so keep an eye on that there may be some opportunities here in steel if we can start to hold some support levels maybe hold on to a little bit of trend there may be some opportunities um, that could crop up in there in those charts so guys that's about all I have time for today um, I want to try and keep these videos concise um, I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day and I want to caution you to be really really careful we are certainly elevated in our PE ratios in this market that doesn't necessarily mean we have to sell off but it does mean there is reason for caution be safe be careful and remember we have a massive day of data coming in here on Wednesday so anything is possible for those of you taking off for the holiday have a wonderful holiday I wish you all the best for you and your family and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning take care everyone.